I was trying real hard to stay on top of this trial specifically because we kind of already seen it before. Remember when Infowars and Alex Jones was just magically taken off the internet just like that at a moment's notice in the blink of an eye? Well, it's happening now. Now it's taking place in the courts. So it's really tough to actually figure out what all has happened in the courtroom because you can get accounts from a bunch of different people even mass media outlets and they aren't going to tell you the real story obviously right because alex jones he's a big boogeyman okay everything that he says is so fantastical but then at the same time it's detrimental and foundationally shattering to our democracy okay i don't know how it can be both but when you live in a land of make-believe and whatever you think is whatever it is then that's what you end up with remember the media just peddles fucking fear at the end of the day so taking any of this shit all too seriously is not exactly a good account of your mental standing but we've got to the portion of this show trial which again i don't know all the specifics of i wish i did and i would have been covered or covering this story a little bit more vociferously than i could but now that we have some raw numbers coming out, okay, the fact that it's right now closing in on $50 million to a bunch of people he never actually did anything directly to, he said some things that, yeah, you might take to be unsavory, but does that rack up to be $50 million at the end of the day? I hardly fucking think so. What this is, is merely just another bump along the slippery slope to just outright banning speech, okay? Because I've seen clips of the trial, I'm sure a lot of people have as well, where, oh, look at how incompetent uh, Alex Jones's counsel is. I mean, he sent uh, all of the text messages over to the, the plaintiff's counsel. It's like, uh, what are they even doing? Oh my God, he's trying to hide all of his records in discovery that could not have possibly been the case okay again i've only heard a little bit of this trial so far and that just immediately piqued my ears because yeah i've watched some trials before and i followed along with some stuff if they would have done that that would have been immediate grounds for dismissal because that is just the outright breach of attorney client privilege and is also grounds of miss or grounds for mistrial on the other side because they didn't come forward with that evidence to the court but instead just sprung it on alex it doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense okay but this entire case like this has been going on for years and years at this point so it's really i i really have to go back and i'm really encouraged to do so at least just taking a look at this because this just looks absolutely absurd at this point okay this is just criminalizing speech anything that we the cathedral the big mass media operational outlet okay anything that we don't like yeah we can just silence you we can just bury bury you in court costs we can just close you out of your business because this if he ends up having to pay this stuff okay it'll bankrupt this company they're making fantastical claims okay at the the plaintiff's lawyers in this one okay some of the, the parents who are still butthurt over their dead kids <gasps> oh my god yeah fuck you sue me i got nothing to my name so go fuck yourself if you think suing a guy for saying he thinks the school shooting happened took in some phone calls that were just saying oh i don't know crisis actors and some shit like that over the top of it and then him entertaining that idea is somehow liable for him to have to shell out 50 fucking million dollars you're out of your mind you're out of your mind if you don't think that there will come a time to where you express a certain position on anything because remember alex jones was about case numero uno when it comes to deplatforming people online now we have just earlier today uh, let me just pull this up here you have james Lindsay. who's james Lindsay? oh uh, that'll take another long amount of time to perfectly explain everything he is more or less just an intellectual fighter on the, the side of the anti-woke anti-intersectionality and weaponized feminism side okay and uh, he's been permanently suspended on twitter for why exactly look at you can see the tweet in the headline there uh posting okay child sexualization specialist because other people were getting yeeted for saying groomer so he takes it and just flips it 100 percent on its head using a more technical ish term and he gets his account taken down for that remember when alex jones was taken down to begin with oh he's got those dangerous ideas and we can't let such extreme rhetoric stand because then oh people might be offended on the internet we can't be letting that happening and now we've gotten to a point where we're calling out people who want to fuck children 
is grounds to have your account terminated. That is where you end up if you don't fucking nip this shit in the bud right goddamn now. So let's take a look at some of the facts of this trial because I've also heard a bunch of other shit as well and some things that I've seen from some clips out there. This fucking judge is a turbo cunt. But let's get to this. Conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. And again, you can't even just say... Is he a conspiracy theorist or is he just a, I don't know, kind of a soothsayer at this point, but whatever. Alex Jones has been ordered to pay $45.2 million in punitive damages to the family of slain six-year-old Jesse Lewis. What does that work out to be like $8 million per year alive? Christ. Oh, uh, one of the 26 people were shot dead in the Sandy Hook massacre. You'd think he should have been able to pull the trigger at that price. Christ. That is in addition to the $4 million the InfoWars host, owner, and operator, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, I don't know if he still officially has those titles, but we'll have to see what happens with the network and everything that he's built up. What the fuck's going to happen with that afterwards? No, I was ordered to pay Wednesday. But again, like I said, there's a bunch of different things that are going on, okay, when it comes to grounds for appeal. Because this just really looks like a fucking sham from the outside looking in, okay? Just not buying into the mass media headlines and spin on all this shit and again knowing the track record of the way media likes to portray alex jones i would just go ahead and err on that side that eh, they're not really treating them all that fairly anyways in his closing statement the lawyers for the victim's family said oh he's that uh, soy based looking fucking creature who was like oh well huh. i received all of those emails from your lawyers and it's like well uh, everything that you would have received, uh, doesn't really exist, or if you got that, what the fuck are you talking about? And again, he turned over everything, but there were a bunch of things that he weren't allowed to say in court, like, oh, apologize to any of the families that were in the courtroom. That was one thing he was not allowed to say. I don't fucking know why, so... Again, I'm sure the more I dig into this case, the more enraged I'll get. Anyways, Alex Jones is worth almost $270 million that we know of. Please take an amount that punishes him and an amount that ensures he never does this again. What exactly is this? Okay, like, what? Discuss current events? Uh, talk to, uh, okay, again, taking phone calls on a live radio show? Yeah, I uh, always advise against that because <laughs> as an old school o a fan, oh, phone calls were always cancer. But regardless, uh, this is the first of three trials that Jones will face in relation to his claims that the 2012 Sandy Hook Massacre school, or Sandy Hook school shooting was a hoax. He, that was never his position, okay? Like, I've heard him discuss this shit before, okay? He was listening to a caller, and he was entertaining the idea. He was never the one to forward that idea, okay? Now, if this was a trial about 9-11, things would be a hell of a lot different. But when it came to this, that was never what he said, okay? So they're trying to attribute somebody else's statements and him engaging in an ideological, or rather an intellectual endeavor by just debating internally and externally the idea. Now he's on the hook for this shit, if not for a whole hell of a lot more money. And again, this is not about this individual case. They got something to pin him on, okay, for the time being. They got something that they think is gonna politicize it enough in order to just tear him down and to set the standard going forward others are in september one in texas and one in connecticut ticket 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 uh if texas involves this current judge i i don't even know what the fuck to do and i think the connecticut one that one's also pretty fucked up where the shooting took place a total of eight families will be represented in the connecticut trial we ask that you send a very very simple message to and that is to stop Alex Jones. That's been the entire through line when it comes to this trial, okay? Stop Alex Jones. Why? Because he's an easy target, okay? He's a very rambunctious, very flamboyant speaker. Okay, he's very articulate. He can rant for hours and hours. He has a skill that is unmatched on the market. And unfortunately for the people in charge, he also provides a hell of a lot of receipts. Sure, he misses, you know, kind of like a stormtrooper, but he's also deadly fucking accurate when he does hit and that's what they don't like 
Stop the monetization of misinformation and lies. Wesley Todd Ballsucker, a lawyer for the parents, told jurors before they began deliberations. How fucking long did that take? Like 10 fucking minutes? Because again, uh, also, and again, like I said, I'd have, I haven't been able to really follow this as closely as I would have liked to, and that's mostly on me, but this would have been a huge undertaking, and maybe some people probably deserved that, but regardless, no use crying over spilt milk at this point. There were some funny things when it came to jury selection as well and how tainted those folks were, but whatever. An attorney for Jones, Frederico Andino Reynal, uh, asked jurors to return a verdict of $270,000 based on the number of hours InfoWars devoted to Sandy Hook coverage. 27 hours, 100,000 per person, or 100,000 per hour, or uh, I guess that would be 10,000 per hour. Math is hard sometimes, just kidding. Uh, the 12 person jury on Thursday said Jones must pay the parents $4.1 million. How did you come up with that number? Okay, and again, they don't have to be accountable. That's the whole jury system. Feel free to do that. Uh, and compensatory damages uh, for spreading conspiracy theories about the massacre. Oh, is that the charge that he was made? You're seeing a disturbing lack of facts in this recap right now. We're just about at the end of the article, too. I'm just adding all of my um, confusion into this. Uh, resuscitation of events anyways have followed a two-week trial in austin where jones's radio show and webcast info wars are based yeah no we know that we know that Early on Friday, forensic economic or er, economist Bernard Pettengill testified on behalf of Lewis's parents that Jones promulgated some hate speech and some misinformation. Oh great, that's enough to charge the man fifty fucking million dollars for because he promulgated hate speech and misinformation. Again, where are the actual claims? Where are the words that came out of his mouth that led to the death of children? Oh, there isn't any? Oh, funny thing about that, huh? Oh, some uh, some people took things a little bit too seriously by saying, oh, crisis actors, and then some people allegedly show up outside of these dead kids' homes. That sucks, okay? But why are you charging Alex Jones? Why are you doing this? Oh, we know why. We know why. Jones and InfoWars uh, are worth between $135 million and $275 million combined. So Jones and the company that he runs, okay? He also said yesterday when the $4 million verdict came down, anything over about $2 million would severely, if not bankrupt, InfoWars itself. So... I don't know where they're coming up with this money, but again, their basis for coming up with any of this shit is some, and, oh, buddy, this is fucking, fri this is frightening, okay, just for a guy that likes to shit post on the internet, okay, and break down specific news stories, okay, it's a slippery slope that's out here, this is hastening the criminalization of hate speech or misinformation that's out there, okay, they can't do it organically, so they're just gonna go ahead and try to fist their fucking agenda so that it fits. Neil Heslin and Scarlett Lewis testified that Jones's uh, followers harassed them for years in false belief that the parents lied about their son's death. So yeah, again, holding Alex Jones accountable for what some theoretical nitwits were doing? I don't get it. Did you provide any evidence? Were they like wearing info wars like blazers or something? Did they have the windbreakers that said the chemicals are turning the frickin' frogs gay? Like, what are we doing here? Jones sought to distance himself from the conspiracy theories during the t his testimony and the years prior to this and whenever Sandy Hook would come out, fuck, if you can still find them, the Joe Rogan podcasts, okay, from years ago at this point, okay, when Joe would ask him about Sandy Hook, he said, I never said any of that stuff. I have all the tapes that are pulled up, okay? In an Alex Jones flavor, of course. And he has said over and over and over again that it is 100% real so this isn't a new revelation on the stand as much as media would like to twist it and make that fit their fucking narrative because they're all cocksucking liars apologizing to the parents and acknowledging that sandy hook was 100 percent real during the closing statements because he wasn't allowed to say that on the stand again you're missing some shit here Jones's company, Free Speech Systems, LLC, declared bankruptcy last week jones said during monday broadcast of 
Oh, that the filing will help the company stay on the air while it appeals. Because again, there are points of appeal, okay, and much smarter people who have a lot more intimate details when it comes to this stuff. Robert Barnes, Viva Fry, those type of guys, they're pretty interlinked, especially Robert Barnes with uh, InfoWars. He's going to have the inside track on all this stuff. He might be helping out with the appeal, not entirely sure, because I at least in any formal capacity he's been doing some hosting duties for alex while he's been in court okay he would know better than anybody else because he has pretty intimate details when it comes to this stuff right so i'll have to see where that goes because again this is this is absurd because this is just going to be the start and everything's just going to snowball from here because you could just imagine right the two other trials that are going to be there oh well he was already uh, handed a verdict of about 50 million dollars and back in august okay so what do you think is going to be coming up in a couple months time is that when yeah the rest of them are supposed to be happening as well next month right what do you think is going to happen there those trials are just going to be even more kangaroo-y even more showy than this one right here this is i it boggles the mind but it really doesn't it really doesn't because whenever alex jones is brought up it's always oh conspiracy theorist oh he's just a braggadocious individual who thinks that oh all democrats just drink the blood of children and Hillary Clinton just runs on the souls of the fallen in adrenochrome. Well, you know, you can be half true with that statement. But anyways, he's an entertainer at best and a damn fine one. He's a journalist when he provides the receipts. In fact, that they're holding him accountable for this, but nobody's doing anything about those fucking mass media outlets that were pushing the jab. Oh, what's that off in the distance? Oh, I think I just heard another athlete's heart explode. Oh, wait, nothing's going to be done about that now, of course. This is just yet another bump along this long, treacherous fucking road that's been going on for, what, 10 years at this point? The man entertained a new story, and now take a look what's happened. Set the precedent for kicking people offline, okay? And now this right here sets a precedent that anything that you say can and will be used against you in a kangaroo court of law. Fuck everybody. With all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.